Hi everybody, uh, my name is Stephanie. I'm from American Medical Sales and Rentals, the oxygen concentrator store. Um, today I am going to talk you through how to use a pulse oximeter and explain a little bit about what exactly it is. So a pulse oximeter measure, measures your oxygen in your blood. So the goal uh, when using a pulse oximeter is to see where you're saturating so you know where your levels are at. We uh, want you to be above 90. Above 90 to 92 is good or even higher is better. Um, but if you're using medical grade oxygen and you go get tested to see um, if supplemental oxygen is something you need, the marker that they're using is 87. So anything below 87, they're gonna say, yep, you need some supplemental oxygen. Um, so the way it'll work is you're gonna turn on your pulse oximeter and it's gonna take a moment to say finger out. That means you're gonna attach it to your finger. So we're gonna open it up here, slide your finger in, and then it's gonna start reading your saturation levels. So something to know if your fingers are really cold or if you have thick nail polish or artificial nails, the pulse oximeter may not work for you, but fun fact, you can actually attach it to your toe or even your nose, um, but we'll use the finger for today. So. Right now you can see that I'm at a 97 for my oxygen saturation, that's good, that's above 90. This particular device also measures your heart rate, so you can see that number right there as well. Um, so pulse oximeters, harmless, doesn't hurt, just takes a few seconds to see exactly where you're saturating. Another good thing to know about a pulse oximeter and another good reason to have it is if you've got an oxygen concentrator, particularly a portable one, that does the pulse flow and you're not sure exactly what setting is right for you, if you take the pulse oximeter and take your uh, oxygen saturation without any oxygen, see where it, where it uh, reads, then turn on your portable oxygen machine and try it out, let's say at a level of two, you can see if that saturation is working or not by the number right here. We want it to be above that 90. All right, so let's go through exactly how the pulse oximeter works. It's actually kind of cool. So um, this pulse oximeter uses uh, light to go ahead and see what your oxygen and your red blood cell count is. So when you put your finger in, there's actually a light that's being probed down through your fingernail. And so if you were able to look in there, you'd see a little red light and it is um, able to sense how much oxygen is in your red blood cell count. And that's how these things work. So um, if you are on supplemental oxygen, a reason why you might want to have one of these around, again, is just to test your oxygen saturation. So if you've exerted yourself, let's say you walked up a flight of stairs and you're feeling out of breath and you're not exactly sure where you're saturating or if you should bump up your machine a setting higher or not, you can just put that on your finger, wait a moment, see where you're saturating. If it's below that 90%, we would recommend just turning that setting on your concentrator or tank up a notch so that way you can saturate above 90 until your heart rate comes back down again. Okay, everyone, that's everything for me today. I hope you found this video helpful and we'll see you soon.